Dr. Ho Pek Lung, a microbiology expert and the director of the Center for Infection of the University of Hong Kong, has requested me to make the following broadcast in English on some quick facts of the novel coronavirus, informally known as the Wuhan pneumonia, and some effective tips in lowering your or your household's risks of being infected by this virus. What is the novel coronavirus? It is a new virus that was discovered in late 2019 and originated in Wuhan, Hubei province of China. It has now spread to Hong Kong, the USA, Singapore and many other countries. It is highly contagious and carries a significantly increased death rate when comparing to other viruses like common cold and influenza. You may contract the disease through infected persons' respiratory droplets and feces and by coming into contact with contaminated objects by the infected. In order to lower the risk of being infected by the novel coronavirus, we must do the following that are easy but effective. 1. Maintain a good washroom hygiene by flushing the toilet with the cover down and filling the U-shaped drainage pipes with at least 500 milliliters of plain water, not bleach, to prevent the sewage which may be contaminated by this virus from backing up into your washroom. 2. Wash hands thoroughly and frequently with either soap and water or alcohol hand rub, especially after coming into contact with objects that are frequently touched by others, like doorknobs, handrails on trains or buses, and elevator buttons, etc. 3. Wear your mask properly when you go out of your homes. For surgical masks, we must discard them after taking off and should not reuse as reusing a contaminated mask will increase the risk of infection. For other cotton or washable masks, although they may not be ideal for infection control, we may still use them for some protection in the time of the great shortage of surgical masks. However, after taking off the cotton or washable masks, we should not put them right back on before washing them. 4. Last but not least, avoid going to crowded and poorly ventilated places. The novel coronavirus infection is serious, however, we should be cautious but not panic. There is a lot of fake news circulating on the internet and messengers, having malicious intents and sparking people's fear. If we stay united and put the tips described above into practice, we shall prevail in the war against this virus. Remember, virus does not rest. Act with no regrets.